Good evening everybody, it's once again Ted the Speed Learner and I'm here to declare the winner of the Video Response Wars this week. And the reason I'm going to do this a little differently this time is because we didn't have a winner this week. However, Kev Radio wanted me to do a Q&A on him. And I am more than happy to do so. As, as everybody well knows, I am a kind and loving channel, but I'm also a very educational channel. If you want something fluffy, go find somebody else, because I am not a fluffy channel. But I am a kind, I am a very caring, and I'm also a very educational channel. So, this will probably be one of the more unusual Q&As that you'll ever have, but you wanted me to come up with 20 questions for you, that's exactly what I have done. So, this, like I said, may be a bit unusual, but I think this will be very informative indeed. So, Kev Radio, if you are ready for your 20 questions, here they come. Like I said, these are going to be kind of educational, so bear with me. Let's see if you can answer these. Ready? What was the temperature on your day of birth? And more importantly, on your day of birth, was it sunshiny or did you have precipitation? And if so, what kind? Was it rain? Was it snow? Now you say, well, where'd that all come from? Well, I did a previous video on Justin Bieber, and I found out all the weather conditions on the day of his birth. So, there you go. All right. How tall are you? And how long are your arms? Now then. Get a ruler because you're going to need it. What is the distance between your house and your mailbox? Okay. What kind of birds do you see out of your window right now? Go ahead, take a look right out your window right now and tell me what kind of birds you see. Okay. Tell us about your bicycle. How tall is it? How many speeds does it have? You know, some, some bicycles don't have a full 10 speeds. Some bicycles do, some bicycles don't. Let's see what yours does. Okay. How many short-sleeved shirts are in your closet right now? What color are the sheets on your bed? What do you like to draw? How many televisions are in your house? Have you ever lost your cell phone? Do you own a pocket protector? Have you ever attended a ball game, a football game, a soccer game, a volleyball game? It doesn't matter, even a baseball game. Have you ever attended one? And if so, what did you see? Tell us all about your experience. I'd love to hear it. How many screens are in your mo nearest movie theater? Now, I have a movie theater, and they have 12 different screens showing 12 different movies at any one time. So, how many screens are in your movie theater? Okay. Do you have a fish tank? If so, what kind of fish are in this? And tell us a little bit about your fish tank. Uh, what kind of decorations are in it, so on and so forth. Love to hear it. How many pages are in your largest textbook? And you say, well, what's the big deal about that? See this textbook right here? There are... Hang on. There are almost 1,400 pages in this textbook right here. Hard to believe that, huh? Okay. How long, or sorry, how big, how big is your largest bath towel? How big is it? What is your favorite color? And when was the last time you wore sunscreen? Okay, I meant you did something outdoors and you had to put on sunscreen to protect yourself from the sun. When was the last time you did it? Tell us about what you did the day you had to wear sunscreen the last time. Okay? Well, if that isn't 20 of the most intellectual questions you've ever had, I don't know what is. And I don't just challenge you to answer these questions. 
I sincerely hope that you get your friends to do the same thing. Spread it around. Let's see how many people will actually answer these questions. It'd be kind of interesting to see the answers that I get. All right. Thank you for stu staying with me and tuning in. Uh, I just went to Metamora yesterday, and I, I'm sure you saw the video by now. And I hope you liked what I saw, what, what you saw. I hope you guys all get a chance to at least check out the Hiccups Facebook page, the one I mentioned in the Metamora video. They have, they are, it's a very nice novelty shop, and I hope some people actually get to go there someday. This is really nice, and the owners are really great. So, there you go. Anyway, I will tell you more in a future video, so I want you to stay tuned.